Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Menachem Creditor. It's my honor to serve as scholar and resident rabbi for UJA Federation of New York. We bring you Torah and music, blessing and community every weekday. We've been doing so since March 18th, 2020. Today it is Friday, November 8th, 2024. It's four and a half years of Torah every single day, finding friends from all over the world to say good morning to, names, sweet faces, Torah, and we face the world as it is. Meirav, it's good to see you. Kate and Penny, welcome. Boker Tov, everyone. It is broadcast 1,171. Thank you, Penny, for reminding us, as always. Anya and Fabrice, Sunday and Jonathan, Shari and Debbie, good morning. Fabrice, it's good to be in touch with you offline too. Thank you for all the support that you continue to show and the presence that you bring. Tara and Carl, Judy, Boker Tov, hi Arlene, hope that you are well. Lydia and April, Barry, Boker Tov, good to see all of you. There's a lot to talk about, but let's make sure that we don't miss the chance to say good morning and Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Natalie, Amy and Linda, Boker Tov. All right, let's keep saying good morning. Get ready for a bracha. Susan and Jacqueline, Marilyn, Rosa, good morning, Catherine, Boker Tov. It's good to see all of you. Let's take a breath as we are in France and Australia and Malta and all over, all over the world. Let's take a breath. Sing a blessing. so good to be together and um, this is the last broadcast I'll be broadcasting from here from the United States uh, for a little while I'm leaving for Israel as part of a Westchester Jewish Council UJA mission an interfaith clergy mission to Israel Saturday night and so Monday please God it'll be nine o'clock in the morning in New York we'll be able to broadcast and uh, and learn together from there, I look forward to sharing with you the air in Israel. I cannot wait to breathe it myself. I'm hoping that all of you are safe and well. This is broadcast 1171. It is day 399 since October 7th of 2023. It is important that we start with standing in solidarity and sending our hearts to all of the Israelis attacked in Amsterdam last night at the Maccabi Tel Aviv soccer game. Um, and I want to do so in the context of our learning, but I also want to share something that I haven't shared before. When we go live on Facebook, there are comments, as you are all saying, the Siatovan, safe travels. Thank you, friends, for all of that. Um, whenever someone uses the word Israel, Facebook hides the comment, and then I manually unhide it. I want to point that out to you because I want us to use the word more. I want us to be proud, louder, 
I want us to be present more fiercely. And so um, there is something really essential about acknowledging these so small um, microcosms, these hidden structural things that are part of a larger picture that we need to fight back against. And so keep on being proud. The um, way in Dutch of saying, I am a Jew is ik ben in Jude. And so, yes, Beth Mann, I am telling you, my friend, you just wrote Israel, Israel, Israel with flags and blue hearts, but it has faded on my screen until I unhide it. So I think we flood Facebook with love for our homeland and we keep on doing it until this doesn't happen anymore. Maybe post on your own feeds when you have a chance that this is a microaggression against the Jewish community. Arlene, I'm unhiding you there. Have a safe and meaningful trip. Ima, hi my, my Ima. My mother's here. And I just unhid her comment with Israel and a heart. So don't just flood this because now I have to manually <laughs> unhide all of your comments. Do it on your own post. Be public, be brave, be loud, be present. The mob in Amsterdam that attacked the Israeli fans of Maccabi Tel Aviv injured 10, there are still two as of two hours ago, uh, two or three Israelis are not accounted for. Israel has taken uh, enormous steps to protect the Israeli fans at the game and heads of state all over Europe uh, have condemned the attack. The King of the Netherlands made the statement, we failed our Jewish community in World War II and last night we failed you again. Until such noble statements are matched by the clamping down on anti-Semitism, those noble statements are just like thoughts and prayers in America when it comes to gun violence, meaningless. And so what we need to do is hold leaders accountable and not shrink back. Ich ben in Jude, in Dutch. And in English, I am a Jew. In Hebrew, Ani Yehudi. Pardon me, we've got somebody who doesn't like Jews who's now banned from our page. I'm gonna make sure, friends, to encourage us at every step to be proud, loud, and present. And so if you're wondering whether or not to do it, here is one of your rabbis saying, get loud, get proud. Nobody makes us shrink. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Nobody tells us when or when not to be present. I am proud to be a Jew, and you should be too. And if you are one of our beloved friends who are not Jewish, who are part of this broadcast, I am so proud to be your brother. I am so honored by your presence. It is so important. It is so important, friends, for us to be louder and prouder. Now, we are a Torah community. We learn Torah every single day. We have done so for 1,171 broadcasts, and we do it all the time when we're not online. So I am so proud of our tradition, and I am proud of our community. And all of you, all of you who are here, and so many others, we are not alone. And being loud and proud is the only way to say, hey, friends, show up. That is part of what we are doing as part of UJA's work in the world, bringing Jews and non-Jews on a solidarity mission to Israel. We're leaving tomorrow night. And I've got to tell you, the non-Jewish clergy that are coming are unbelievably present as allies and friends. And so I welcome you into the pride, not only the reactive pride, into the building of friendships, into the renewing of bonds, in a complicated moment of American history, showing up as a coalition of loving faith partners matters. It matters more than ever. So, how do we connect this with Torah? Well, it's Lech Lecha, Parsha Lech Lecha. I've told you it's my Bar Mitzvah Parsha, it's my sister's Bar Mitzvah Parsha, it is um, my son's, uh, two of my sons, B'nai Mitzvah Parsha, and it is my father's Bar Mitzvah Parsha. So we like this one. 
But in all of our B'nai Mitzvah Divrei Torah, every time we have talked about Torah at our special moments, we never pointed to this one part of the Parsha. It's chapter 14 in the book of Genesis. And in it, Avraham's, Lot, uh, Avraham's nephew Lot is kidnapped. Not alone, but Lot is living in Stom and Amorah, Sodom and Gomorrah. It's before the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And there's a coalition of kings that kidnaps people. And then Avram hears from someone who escaped from being kidnapped, comes back. And I want to read you a few verses in Hebrew first and then in English. Hebrew, this is chapter 14, verse 14. Vayishma Avram ki nishba achiv vayarek et chanicha v'yolidei veto shmona asar ushlosh meot v'yirdof ad dan. And when Avram heard that his brother was taken captive, he led forth his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them to Dan. And he divided them against them, he and his servants by night, and he smote them, pursued them to Chova, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought, brought back his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women, and the people. There was a coalition that Avram brought together to fight for the lives of his people. Well, nothing could be more contemporary. Now, it happens to be there's this very interesting Rashi. It's a comment from Rashi about why at first did Avram pursue them until Dan? Because in the area of Dan, according to the commentators, that's when we committed much later in time the sin of the golden calf, meaning Avram got tired. But with his allies, despite being tired, he fought. And so, friends, despite being tired, we fight. Here's where we are in our moment of Jewish history. Those who are attacking Jews in Amsterdam, and those who attack Jews on campuses in America, and those who think, think, that they're hel helping Palestinian civilians by attacking Jews, all of them need to be countered, because all of it is an ancient and modern form of anti-Semitism. And if they think there's a difference between fighting against Israel and attacking Jews, I only ask you to look at attacks on synagogues outside of the state of Israel since October 7th and the language that has been used. I ask you to look at the language that is being wielded against Jewish students on American campuses. It is anti-Semitism, plain and simple. And I ask you to look over my shoulder, over my shoulder, every day and in my heart every day and around my neck every day and in my soul in my eyes on my head every day i carry our people just like you do an israeli flag is not only a sign and symbol of a nation that star is called magen david the protector of david and the design of the israeli flag is meant to be a talit a prayer shawl. When my children have gone to Poland to visit the camps and they wrap themselves in the flag, it is not wrapping themselves with a nation state. It is wrapping themselves with our people. And so for those who think that there's a difference between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism, I just ask you to think again. An attack against one of us is an attack against all of us. And yes, we have our inner work to do. I hope you're paying attention to Israeli politics. Not all is simple and not all is well. But that is the work of a sovereign people. And we had to fight to have our home back. We are not done with that fight. I am proud of all the work that we do, sometimes in response and often proactively, to build Jewish pride in the world. We will stand with those who are vulnerable in the world who are not Jewish. That's what it is to be a Jew too. And when Jews are the vulnerable ones in the world, we will stand loud and proud and present, not looking to hurt anyone, but not allowing ourselves to be hurt either. So in these horrific moments, friends, in these horrific moments where our people, our sisters and brothers are attacked, all the while, 101 of our sisters and brothers and non-Jews who happen to be in Israel are still held hostage for 399 
in human days by terrorists who have cheerleaders around the world doing the current attacks against Jews, we have our work cut out for us. People who ignore Jewish vulnerability are also part of this structural anti-Semitism. We have known for a long time and have used the language of structural racism and structural misogyny. These are things that we need to recognize can also happen to Jews. The microaggression of Facebook erasing comments that have the word Israel, which I can just tell you I am witness to all the time on my broadcasts. These are all areas of concern. And I got to tell you, Avram Avinu, Avram, our ancestor, is a model. When Lot is kidnapped, he takes action. No matter how tired he got, he took action. Well, no matter how tired you might feel, we take action. It is essential for us to acknowledge acknowledge that sometimes we are tired but we are never too tired to fight for our family never when we say am yisrael chai we say it with resolve we say it with the energy of millennia of our ancestors and i say it i sing it i dance it i celebrate it with every fiber of my being for the sake of my children and theirs we will grow up and build a world that is more loving and kind and just. And no moment of global history and no aggressive moment against the Jews will diminish our fire for the life of our people. Our hearts go out to those affected by the pogrom in Amsterdam last night. But also our planes went out to them. We are stronger than we have ever been, and we will never be less strong. Am Yisrael Chai is a sovereign vow. It is a solemn swear. It is an oath. Yes, it is testimony. It is a promise. So, I ask you, before I pick up my guitar and sing a song, getting ready for Shabbos, the way I would have anyway, because nobody stops Shabbos. I ask you to take a second and just let the pride out of your eyes. Feel your heart swell with pride for our people, with resilience, with determination, with strength, with love. Remember the vision for our world that we have, which is a world where everyone has what they need. That's what it is to believe like a Jew. No one should have less than they need. Am Yisrael Chai is also a promise that the world should ask us to make because Am Yisrael Chai means we are alive and able to help. That's who we are. In order to get to that beautiful vision and implementation that I am proud we are doing nonstop all this time, we have to be here to do it. So anyone who says otherwise to us, we will show up with strength with determination, and we have endured this long, they can't do anything about that. All around the world, Am Yisrael Chai. We're going to sing Hatikva when we're done, but I'm going to ask you, with fire in your eyes, to sing with me.
no less fire in our eyes. Sing for our family. Kolon maleva v'nima nefesh Yehudi homia ulefate mizrach kadima ayin letzion Sophia o lo avda. Tikvatenu Ha Tikva Bat Shnot Alpaim Liot Am Hofshi Beat Senu Eret Sion Virushalayim Liot Am Hofshi Beat Senu Eretz Zion Virushalayim Bring them home now. Am Yisrael Chai. Shabbat Shalom, my friends. Shabbat Shalom.